Hello everyone, Matt Weaver. Okay, let's get to it. A popular topic, post-occupancy agreements. Gosh, we would virtually never see post-occupancy agreements and we're seeing them all the time. Why is that? Well, let's think about it. We continue to remain in a heavy multiple offer environment and we're gonna be in this environment for conceivably the balance of 2021. Meaning there are simply more buyers than there are sellers. So sellers are getting quite demanding. So what's happening here? So a seller says, okay, I'll go ahead and sell the home to Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. However, I don't have a home picked out. So what they're doing is they're wanting to go ahead and retain the home that they live in and post occupy it after closing so they can go ahead and find a home and take their time. So sometimes sellers want to post occupy a home for six months. Here's the catch. The question becomes, how long will mortgage lending allow for it in the contract? And the answer, assuming someone is purchasing the home as a primary residence, is 60 days. See, in the mortgage application, along with the documents that the borrower, the buyer has to sign at closing, it's written in there that they must retain occupancy or move in with the intent within 60 days. So the max post occupancy agreement a lender can see is 60 days. I hope you find this of value because it's a topic that is coming up and a circumstance that's coming up more and more often. You know where to find me if you need me, 561-212-6503, Together in Success.